You know, a lot of times I've been discussing definitely on our podcast, the Phyllis Scott podcast, about the vote blue no matter who cults. And the vote blue no matter who cults, they believe that everyone should vote like them and think like them. And you have an American right to vote for whoever you want to vote for, period. Now, if you want to be a Democrat, that's your right. You want to be a Republican, that's your right. You want to be independent, that's your right. You want to uh, be a part of a third party, that is your right. But unfortunately, you have a lot of black people in in this country who feel that the vote blue no matter who uh, cold is what all black people should think about on the area of politics. And if you don't think that way or agree that you should vote for Vice President Kamala Harris, then something's wrong with you and you would be attacked. Case in point, I want you to listen to what this black woman had to say. So ever since I've showed my support to Donald Trump, the internet has called me a clown. I'm not educated. I'm not black. Uh, they wish Donald Trump would uh, rape my daughters. They want me to go jump off a bridge. I mean, the amount of hateful things that people are leaving under my comments, it's so disgusting. You guys are so for love and peace and unity, but actually you guys are the most hateful people. You guys are a bunch of snowflakes. You can't handle somebody just stating their opinion. You can support Kamala Harris on your page. I That's fine. That's okay. I don't expect anybody or everybody to think like me. So it's just, it's wild to me. And part of it, what you see with her, why probably more angry with her, because she would have more of that, that professional boulet look. So for them to even hear her as a black woman, saying that with that professional boule look that they normally go, you know, won't part of the Democrat party. Oh, they very, very upset. They are so upset with her. Uh, they can't stand it. Listen, they are bullies. They will try to bully you. If they can't bully you, they going to shame you. Okay. And if they can't shame you, they're going to insult you. They're going to lie. Because if y'all remember those of you who follow the, the channel, when I did the sound off Friday on African diaspora news channel, and I caught that lady lying and I said, ma'am, I say you lied. And she said, it don't matter if I'm lying. We got to save democracy. So yes, they will lie. They will outright lie on you. Something that you didn't even say bold face lies. So when people are, are willing to lie and admit that it's okay to lie, the so-called say like what democracy are we saving? It's not, we're not saving anything. Because the black Americans, what voice we really had in this country? Let's call it what it is. These people, the vote blue no matter who, that's a cult at this point. That is not rational thinkers. Now, we do have some people who are Democrats who are rational thinkers, and even those black people who are Democrats and say, wait a minute, hold on. I got questions. Nobody voted for Kamala Harris to become the, the nominee. 14 million people voted for Joe Biden to be the nominee, not her. She was installed. She was not, she was selected. She was not chosen by the people. So when people who are Democrats have questions about this, you want to villainize those black people. You want to villainize them and make them feel like they're wrong for asking questions that they should be asking. And do you think you vote blue, no matter who cult members, you really think that you're going to make people vote for vice president Kamala Harris. If somebody was on the fence about doing it, you going to push them over the fence to the other side. Now, this woman wants to vote for Trump. That's her business if she wants to vote for Trump. It's her right to. It's called voting rights. I mean, you have a right to vote for whomever you want to vote for, or you don't have to vote for anybody. It is called voting rights. You only want voting rights if the, if the voting is going to go to Democrats. But if somebody else is black and they're going to go vote for Trump or whoever else they want to vote for, it doesn't have to be Trump. It could be uh, uh, Robert Kennedy. It could be Cornel West. It could be whatever they want to vote for. Their business. You want to bully them into voting Democrat. But then uh, as we, we're hearing in Atlanta, you Democrats are sitting up here picking up the homeless, paying the money to go vote Democrat. That's the dirty taxes that Democrats play. And more and more of that needs to be investigated. Cause that's not right. If you want the homeless people to vote for you. Why don't you do things to get them from being homeless to a home? Maybe then they say, you know what, man, the Democrat party really helped us out. Let me go vote for them. That's how you vote, get votes without paying nobody anything. 
But yeah, this sister shouldn't feel bad, you know, about that. And I'm probably gonna get Kelly to reach out to her because I love, I like to bring her on the show to to get her to expound a lot more um, on you know what happened because that this this is utterly ridiculous. 